Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. If you are not new here, I'm going to be talking to you guys about commission and working for yourself. So this could really work for any industry. If you're deciding on, do I want to work on commission or work for myself? I am specific to the dental profession and I'm going to probably make references to teeth whitening technicians because I do both, but I'm going to jump right into it and talk to you guys about the pros and cons. So we'll do the pros pros first and then the cons. So the pros about having um, working on commission. So that basically means you're working for somebody else. You are getting a percentage of every appointment that you do. And so are they like, that's what commission means. Um, just for easy numbers here. Um, the owner would get 50% of that appointment and you would get 50%. Um, the other 50% of that appointment. Now it's not usually, it doesn't work like that. It's not usually half and half. It could be you are making 20%, 30%. I feel you should never be making less than 20%, but it really depends on the industry. Um, so it does depend for sure. And then the owner is getting the bulk of that. Um, so, so that's just what being a commission-based means. So the pros of that is, you don't have to do the hard work. So the owner is responsible of finding patients, finding clients. They're going to supply you typically with what you need to do your job. So you don't have to worry about inventory. If you are bringing in your own supplies, because sometimes it does work like that, then you should make a higher commission. But if you're bringing in your own supplies, then you at least don't have to worry about stocking you know, the majority of the inventory. So that plays a big part. Um, and you don't have to worry about, you know, setting up your own room. It's going to be there for you. You don't have to worry about bringing new things to two houses. If you're traveling mobile, let's say, depending on the industry, you just walk in, everything is there for you. And it does look very professional. I mean, their clients, your clients are going to be likely calling the front desk to book appointments with you. You don't have to worry about managing appointments either, which is huge. Whereas if you own your own business and you know you work for yourself, you're dealing with finding the patients, finding the clients, booking appointments, but we'll talk more about that in the cons section. We're just talking about pros for commission-based right now. So those are the major pros. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, but basically, you don't have to worry about doing all of the legwork, you know, everything is there for you, you don't have to worry about setting up your business as much per se, because everything is there for you clients are coming to you. And that's a big part of it, because anybody can start their own business. But if you if you are business savvy, and you're having trouble finding clients, well, what good is your business if you can't find clients, you're not making money. That's another pro about commission based is it's more of a consistent income, because somebody else is booking your clients, it's probably going to be every day where you're going to be working. Yes, you're making less, but it's consistent. So at the end of the day, you're probably making more versus you having your own side thing and working for yourself and finding clients. Well, you might not be very good at it. So then you're actually making less money. So being consistent, having a, cons a consistent income is definitely a pro and also working on commission. So you, the, owner is likely advertising for you as well because they want to make money. Let's just say you're working in a hair salon. You have a room in a hair salon doing whatever you do. It could be nails. It could be teeth whitening. It could be facials. It could be anything. Well, that salon is constantly advertising for their salon. So they're going to probably advertise for you too welcome to our newest employee, you know, Andrea, she does teeth whitening, this, this, and this call this number. Now she's available weekends and evenings. I don't know. So they're going to be doing a lot of the hard work for you, but then you can also do that on the side market advertise. And then your patients finding you are going to come to you. And then you're also helping the salon. So it's kind of like a win-win. So those are the major pros. Um, now we will talk about pros of doing your own thing. So not working for somebody else. So you're not working on commission. You have your own thing and you're making 
your money. Like you're making 100% of the profits. So that's a nice thing because you can have your own schedule. You can make your own schedule. If you want to work Tuesdays and Wednesdays and maybe Sunday evenings, that's it. Well, you have the choice to do that. If you need to call in sick, if you, well, you're calling yourself, you know, if you're sick, you can take time off and not feel bad, you know, calling the boss. Okay. I'm sick today. I'm sorry. I know it's the third time this month, but I'm sick. You know, you don't have to worry about that. If your kids need you, if you have to leave early to pick them up from school because they got into trouble or whatever, you can do that and not feel bad about it because you have your own business. A big part is you make your own schedule. Whereas again, if you're working commission for somebody else, they're usually the ones dictating your schedule. Um, another con or sorry, pro pro about working for yourself is again, you make a hundred percent of the profits, not 20%, 30%, whatever you make a hundred percent of the work you do. That's a huge pro. Plus you have more flexibility. You have a hundred percent control. So you can market, advertise, price, wear, whatever you want. That is a huge pro. Okay. So that's pretty awesome. Those are big pros versus if you work on commission, well, you can't do those things. So now let's talk about cons. We're just jumping right into it here. So cons of working commission are basically the opposite of the pros that I've talked about, right? So cons for being on commission would mean that you are working for somebody else, you're making a percentage. Okay. So that can be a con. If you, if you want to make a hundred percent of the profits, then, well, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't be working for somebody else on commission. Another con of working on commission is you do what they tell you basically. So if they tell you, you have an hour for teeth whitening, that's it. Deal with it. That's how we book our clients. Well, you have to honor that. You have to be okay with that. So you either have to get better if it normally takes you an hour and 10 minutes, or, you know, you just have to be okay with that. Never suffer quality though. Like don't, you know, try to be faster to make more money. Like that's not good. Whereas a lot of businesses do do that. Unfortunately, in dental offices, it is like that where a lot of offices you might have half an hour to clean an adult patient's mouth, whereas we like an hour. Well, if it's only half an hour, well, you just have to do a half an hour or you're behind and then you're behind all day. Patients get mad. So working for somebody else, these are the cons that you have to deal with. It's up to them. Pricing. You can't just pick your price. You might be charging a crazy amount, but then remember you're making commissions, so you do make more money or whoever you're working for might not see the value in what you're doing and they price it this way. So you have no control over pricing if that, if that makes sense, okay? So that can be a con for sure. If you like to be in control, do your own thing, show up when you want, work when you want, make your kind of money, then working for somebody else isn't for you. You should not be working on commission. So again, I talked about this a bit before. But a con about commission is that you make a percentage. So you might not like making 20% of the $200 that you just put through that the work you did, but you're only making 20%. And you're kind of thinking, I could have made 100% of this money today, you know, but remember, how did you get those clients? They were already there with that hair salon or beauty business or whatever, right? So, but that's a con. You don't make 100%. Another con about having a commission, working on commission, working for somebody else, again, is that you can't have your own schedule. You just work when they want and you're going to feel bad. If you have to call in sick, you're going to feel bad about it. I know I always did when I worked for somebody else, that was a major con for me. If there was a snowstorm outside and I'm like, I don't want to leave my house because it takes me 45 minutes to get to work. Like, oh my God. But they would get upset. They'd be like, well, Andrea, people drive in snow all the time, deal with it. But I'd be so stressed all day. So you don't have control. Now that I work for myself, have my own business, I make 100% of the profits. Well, if it's snowing outside, I tell my patients I'm having a snow day. Um, I can't make it because I travel mobile. I do see patients in my own home too, um, clients, patients. But um, yeah, so that's a con of working for somebody else. You don't have control. 
So now let's let's talk about cons of having your own thing, um, working for yourself, not on commission. So a con is you have to start from scratch, okay? Advertising, bookkeeping, taxes, um, logos, websites. Did I mention advertising? So you have to find your own clients. You're starting from scratch. This is why a lot of small businesses fail because a lot of small businesses, it's hard to get clients. It's hard for any business just to have somebody walk in and say, I don't know you. I want your product. I want your service. I'm walking into your restaurant for the first time. You know, it's very hard for small businesses to attract new clients. So that is a con of not working for somebody else and having your own thing. If you're not good at marketing, getting yourself out there, networking, social media, you know, advertising, paying for ads, doing this, doing that, then that's definitely a con of having your own thing because you don't have somebody else to do that for you, nor is anybody else going to do that for you because they're not making the money. You are. Another con is, you know, which can also be kind of a pro too. But if you only want to work Tuesdays, well, you're not going to make any money because when you're not working, you're not making money working for yourself. Um, you're not making money when you're not working. If you're not advertising, you're not making money because you need to advertise to get new clients. If you're not following up with clients to book their next appointment, you're not making money because you're not following up booking those appointments. So that can be a con is there's so much you have to think about. And that can be very, very difficult, very overwhelming for most people. Okay. Another con of doing your own thing, having your own business is it's not just a nine to five. Okay, so you don't just show up at work 9 a.m., leave at 5 p.m., you close up shop. Okay, bye guys, see you later. It's so much more than a nine to five job being an entrepreneur. I would do it any day of the week, but I tell people all the time, I quit, and there's, and there's so many quotes like out there. I quit my nine to five job so that I can work like eight to eight but I love it. Like I love being an entrepreneur. Okay. But I don't work nine to five and then put the books away done. I'm checking emails. I'm doing videos. Oh, this matches. I'm, <laughs> I'm funny. I know I'm checking emails. I'm, I'm doing videos such as this one. I'm booking clients. I'm following up with clients. I'm, I'm ordering products. I'm checking inventory. I'm doing bookkeeping, checking on taxes, booking meetings with my accountant to check on my tech. You, you get it, right? So that can be a con for some people is there's so much and not everybody can be an entrepreneur. Okay. So it might be better for you to learn the skills and then work for somebody else, but make a commission and not have to worry about that. Okay, you guys, but in conclusion of this video, I like working for myself. I can't imagine working for somebody else, putting in just as much work, working just as hard and only making a percentage. That's what I did when I worked at an office. Okay, I would do the work, do everything um, except payment from that patient, but I was making, let's just say $30 per hour, okay? Um, that's a lot less than making $300 per hour. Yes, I have expenses. I have a lot more responsibility. Um, I'm working all the time, but I love it. The harder I work, the more money I make. But when I decide to be lazy and take a day off, that's okay. I'm not making money when I take a day off, but I made so much money the week before because I worked like crazy so that I could take the next week off, you know? So I love having control. I love making my own money. It's hard work, but I would not have it any other way. If I can do it, you guys, you guys can do it too. So please comment below with any questions. Click like to this video. If you like this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, what are you currently doing? Do you have your own business now? Are you working on commission or just working for yourself, making 100% of the profits? Are you new to this and thinking about, do I want to do commission or do I want to make 100% of the profits, but more responsibility? That video was so helpful, Andrea. Thank you. Let me know. Comment below, you guys, and keep checking back. There's going to be new videos uploaded every Mondays and Thursdays and sometimes Saturdays. So definitely keep an eye out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.